It's not easy being green. Unless you're the scat man. <laughs> oh, that was probably the worst intro I've ever done so far. <laughs> Hey everyone, Scott or the Scott Man. It's a beautiful morning here in the, in the Fraser Valley. So going outside, can't really see too well outside because of the wind. Up, but that's not that doesn't look too bad. Can you see Byers Peak way out there to the left? But yeah, today should be a pretty interesting day because it's, I could be covering a part of Colorado I have not shown before. Um, so about Lauren and I are going to be going on a little short trip today down to Golden, Colorado, which is one of the western suburbs of Denver. It's along the along the foothills. So it, sh it should be pretty cool. So as you can tell, we're on our way to Golden, Colorado right now, and I'm hanging out for dear life with Lauren behind the wheel right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> But yeah, we're going through Clear Creek Canyon right now. Haven't been over here yet before, but yeah, this looks absolutely amazing. We're currently trying to see if there's anybody climbing these rocks right now, but as of right now, it doesn't look like it because today is Wednesday after Wednesday morning after all. All right, we made it to Golden, Colorado, and we're here at one of the main universities here in Golden. This is the Colorado School of Mines, and for apparently, for what I've heard, there's it's one of the, I think, the highest admission or highest admission standard, excuse me, here in Colorado. So apparently, since she's a graduate student here, she must be smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say smarter than you. I just wrote a good admission essay. <laughs> that works. Um, so, well, anyway, uh, we're going to be walking around the campus today. Uh, she'll be giving me a little bit of a tour, so, so I'll probably be doing a little bit less talking here. I'll let her take over periodically. Oh, here's yeah, Berthet Hall. It's the looks like the, uh, the geology building here. Let's head inside. All right, a little geology. 
psychology lesson. Pyrite, often known as fool's gold, is called such because panners used to find this in their rivers or in the rocks and think it was gold, but the main difference, besides chemical compound and some other testing mechanisms, is if you were to take gold and pyrite and shine them in the light, gold glitters and shines in every direction, whereas pyrite doesn't. It'll, it'll go to a dull and then it'll shine, or dull and then it'll shine, depending on how you're rotating it. Mm -hmm. So if you had a real piece of gold and a real piece of pyrite, that's the quickest way to tell if you have gold or fool's gold. Oh, nice. Yeah. Huh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> a friend to lean on. So our mascot is the donkey. His name's Blaster. And for all the miners, they obviously needed something reliable to carry their haul, to carry their equipment. Thus, as a miner, our mascot is the donkey. And this is, uh, this is my favorite statue on campus. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, I have to, have to admit. Uh, in the common room, they have a puzzle, usually a jigsaw puzzle, and they don't give you the picture of it. They make us just put it together. So oh, cool. <laughs> People will come in, do homework, and then take a break and try to start putting pieces together without the picture. And uh, generally, it's like a thousand to two thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. Oh wow! That's you have no idea what it is, so you just start to put the edges together and then start grouping colors together. And it's pretty fun. It's a good way to take your mind off your homework for a little bit, but still stay a little stimulated. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! For sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> How often do they complete a puzzle? Um, from what I've seen, it's generally one a month. Oh, okay. Depending on how hard that puzzle is. Sometimes they put a really, really tricky puzzle out there. Oh, gotcha. See the M up there? Oh, yeah. So... For every incoming freshman, no matter degree on campus, they have you walk up the hill with a little rock and put it on that M. And then when you graduate, when you're all finished, they dedicate a day for you to walk back up the hill and take a rock. And that's kind of like your initiation and moment of leaving. Um, fun fact, rival schools and sports and stuff used to go up there and vandalize the M. So they've, they've kind of blocked it off and there's some cameras up there now so people don't mess with it. But um, I think it's a really cool tradition that they do. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, back home in Michigan, no one really hear much about stuff like that. <laughs> and um, at night it lights up. And oh, that's if, awesome. If it's a holiday, like 4th of July, it'll be red, white, and blue, um, that kind of thing. So it's a really neat, marker for Golden and the School of Mines. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So Mines has this thing called the Geology Trail, um, and this is part of it. And um, like you can see here, here, and up there, those are all fossilized, well now fossilized log imprints. Uh, this is just part of one of the formations that uplifted at the same time when the Colorado Rockies were being built. Oh, nice. So this came up at the same time all of that did. And with it came awesome fossils. Oh. They're around here. I don't know what that was supposed to be. It wouldn't surprise me if it was Triceratops. We have to see. A T O P, maybe with an S. Yeah, do you chipped see, off? Do you see any marking though? Hmm. Viewers, if you happen to see anything, <laughs> uh, feel free to comment if we're both missing something. Right, we'll we'll find some good ones. Because who knows? Maybe this GoPro is better than my eyes right now. 
Oh, there's quite a bit of plaques here. Um, animal burrows. So you're right, it was trying to say Triceratops track. So it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be more like a footprint then. Right. Do you see it? Hmm. Do you think that? Or am I just trying too hard there? Maybe. If I get my camera up that way. I, yeah. I can always find out maybe like, when I'm editing or something. Sure. Nevertheless, though, it's pretty awesome, though. Just for scale reference. That's how big this this fossil is. Oh yeah. Excuse the pun, but this is a golden view. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Really cool view. That's North Table Mountain and that's South Table Mountain. Both have hiking trails, biking trails. Sometimes you'll see people um, hang gliding off of them or slack lining um there's the Coors Brewery the actual Coors Brewery uh, that way Boulder that way Denver oh cool so where's west and east table mountain hmm. I think we dug them out oh gotcha either either that or, or maybe somebody had Way too much to eat and drink one night. Yeah, I probably tipped him over. True. That's Lookout Mountain. I think that's all I know. That, that, that was awesome, I have to admit. See a little bit more of the, of the school there too. But yeah, I... But yeah, I, I definitely recommend this geology trail that we went on. It's absolutely free to, co to come and check out. So de definitely worthwhile while you're here in Golden. Well, that was a pretty nice tour of the campus. Uh, special thanks to Lauren for the tour. <laughs> So up ne next, we're gonna be heading to lunch and that'll be a Travel the Lights video. So you'll definitely have to check that out. It's a restaurant right here in Golden. Uh, what's the place called again? It's called The Yard House. And I had to look it up, but it's delicious. And we're gonna bring a special edition of Travel the Lights. So better watch. You heard her. If she says it, she means it. All right, just got done eating at The Yard House here in Lakewood and we need to work off that meal. <laughs> I'm about to make him go do two million steps at Red Rocks, but... Why not three million? I think three would be pushing it. Two is a pretty safe limit. We gotta work off that fried <laughs> chicken, that mac and cheese. So hopefully everyone wants to join us over at Red Rocks later. Gotcha, because that's coming up in this video. And then if, speaking of Yard House, please check out the Travel the Lights video. If it's not up on YouTube yet, it will be and then probably in a matter of days. So you'll definitely have something to look forward to with that. So I got to eat a lot of great food. It was Lauren too, and she got to sample some, some great Colorado beers as well. So definitely check that out. But for now, off to Red Rock. All right, we made it to Red Rocks. So let's go check it out. It was pretty cool to get see the 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 
stage all the way down there and all the way out there you can even see downtown Denver. Oh yeah, 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 this is yeah what we saw earlier at the Colorado School of Mines in that geology trail. Some different footprints too. Some some different dinosaurs. All right, yeah, that was that was pretty cool, I have to say. <laughs> yep. <laughs> One cool theater. I kind of wish I saw more theaters like that, but then I could, at the same time. It's always a good thing to have a one-of-a-kind theater like that. Right, let's head out. And we made it back to the house. Uh, yeah, that was a great little adventure I had with Lauren today, going to Golden and also over to Red Rocks and also doing a Travel with the Lights video. So <laughs> definitely enjoy having her around. So it was really awesome. <laughs> but just enjoying just the beautiful mountain air the rest of the day and probably have like dinner here and not sure what else is going on today but we're planning a little trip to Steamboat Springs though tomorrow so definitely have quite a bit of footage tomorrow so really looking forward to that. I already got some bowling action here tonight uh, it's just Uncle Tim and I tonight uh, Lauren decided probably to sleep this one out or something so it's up to me to challenge him try to avoid his revenge wish me luck Gentlemen, this is the moment of truth for Scott Mann, 895, and he got them all but one. Yeah, I'm not doing very well tonight. As you can tell, I am lacking big time, and I think he's got his revenge back. So he's just really, really adding to the score now. Thankfully, I was able to get 100 points, though, so I was able to still get in the triple digits. Barely. However, I finally have somebody else to help me try to beat him. She's showing up after all. How are you doing, guys? Ready? So yep, Lauren has rejoined us for the next probably the next two games. So luckily, I'm starting off things a little bit more intense with the spare. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, unfortunately, I end up losing again, but I came a lot closer this time. And I, I caught that on film. <laughs> Could she? May the force be with her. Yeah, I didn't really feel much of this game, but it's been, it's been a lot closer. But yeah, I end up getting 108, Uncle Tim got 121, and Lauren will end up... You, you, you should take a look at the score. Did I beat him? Just watch. <laughs> now it's time to get serious. We must eat donuts!
Yeah, did not do very well tonight. Uh, lost all three games. But Warren, is, is, she's the master bowler. <laughs> and we're back and those are great night bowling although it didn't do very well compared to the other night it still didn't do too bad though at least got 100 points each of the three games but yeah take a look at this although it's not going to come out the greatest on gopro but you can see two rainbows out there it was lightly raining just a little bit ago man this is amazing uh, definitely a great way to conclude the video for today. And you can see Josh all the way down there. But yeah, had a uh, great day today with Lauren down in Golden, Colorado. Check out the Colorado School of Mines as well as getting lunch and, uh, and also checking out the Red Rocks Amphitheater. And then coming back to do a little quick bowling with, with her as well as with Uncle Tim. So it was definitely great so tomorrow we're gonna to be going on a big adventure tomorrow so I'm not gonna tell about it just yet I'll you'll have to watch a video coming up <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up for more sky 895 trial videos definitely click that subscribe button as I upload videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday at the end of every video links to my Twitter Facebook and Instagram pages well thank you for watching t today's trial vlog here to Golden Colorado and a little bit of the bowling alley here in Winter Park. And this is Scott signing out.